Yes, yes, yes. We're back in this bitch. AdSense is not gonna like that. But we're not partnered yet, so we're gonna be cursing off the rip. We don't give a fuck. We're back, we're back, family. Gainsathon, episode two of the illustrious series, the final Gainsathon and the motherfucking takeover headquarters, baby. We're going hard, we're working some legs, we're doing the full body. We gotta get the quads right so we could beat the odds right. You know what the fuck going on, baby. That's exactly what I'm saying right here, too. Now, you can see compared to my upper body, the legs are heavily, heavily uh, behind. But you know what? We're focused on progress out here. That's what the fuck we do. But yeah, there's going to be all sorts of insights and developments. And this is like a whole motherfucking series, docu-series. It's the final gains it on at the TakeOver headquarters, baby. We're coming with the energy, the insights, the fucking gains. You know, we're go we start off... Leaving off the same night as the night before. And then we go into the next morning. Straight off the wake up. You know, this is the culture. This is the vibe. This is how we survive. This is what makes us feel alive, baby. <laughs> Alright, we're going to hit a quick set. Of some reverse flies for those rear delts. Let's get it, baby. Rear delts, rear delts. Activated. You know the fucking vibe, baby. We're doing this reverse fly type movement, you feel me? Isolation. One arm at a time for the rear delts. And that, my friends, is going to work those shoulders. It's going to really activate the rear deltoid. That's how you get those 3D shoulders, otherwise known as boulder shoulders, my friends. For those of you who don't know the terms... In the bodybuilding fitness industry lane you know on the online landscapes it's called boulder motherfucking shoulders and the saying that i like to say which is a very true statement is the boulder shoulders make her come over you feel me so this is a very important you know muscle group to have in your arsenal that you want to develop so we're hitting those here we're isolating them one arm at a time and it's absolutely beautiful to see Starting off the gains of down right, baby. Believe I'm gonna talk some shit right here, yeah. Got some baked potatoes in the uh, air fryer over there. But um, it's a really light weight. So I'm doing set to 20 because uh, the next weight up is a little too heavy for those. So we're just gonna get those reps real high so we can go up to that next weight. As long as you feel the burn, baby, I really felt it. So here we are hitting the left side, baby. You know, we got to keep it symmetrical, baby. Life is about symmetries and geometries and mathematics, baby. We already knew that. We already knew life is a simulation somewhat like a computer game. Or maybe we made simulations and computer games based off life. You feel me? And life is all about math, baby. Just, that's what computers do, baby. And that's what we're doing. We're hitting these motherfucking rear delt motherfucking fly cable movements as if we're motherfucking ai like we are fucking machine or computer and we just programmed ourselves to get the fucking gains and then it just carries out like you know what i'm saying once you program the program you press enter that shit just runs like a well-oiled machine you feel me so we're focusing on that squeeze you feel me Doing a little flex at the end. Let's fucking get it. See, I think I'm talking some shit. See what I'm saying. Get those rear delts busting, baby. Let's get it. Yeah, so as I told you guys. My bad, we got some smoke coming off there. Don't want to fog it up. Yeah, I told you, I just do my sets throughout the whole day. Get my meal. So right now, getting the meal in really quickly. Some baked potatoes before I make my like chipotle style chicken bowl. You feel me? This is the vibe for right now. Absolutely beautiful baked potato, sour cream, and cheese. And I got two more potatoes. Then we're gonna move to chipotle style bowl, like I said. In between meals, in between sets, we love it. Let's get the carbs. Let's put some size on, baby. You know, we do full body around here, baby. Full body workouts is what we do. Yes, sir. 
Now, being that this weight is light, and I gotta figure out exactly what I'm gonna do for this because these, as you can see, this one is exposed. This shit is so thin that, look, see if I squeeze it, now I already feel the metal below. So, actually I cut my, like, it broke the skin because I was just doing heavier weight and, yeah, so, I need to buy some foam or some shit, some, like, very thick foam or something, but, you know, I'm always a testament and we don't accept no excuses, we get the shit done. So, we had to get the shit done, we knew we had to hit the legs, there was no excuse, I didn't have any fucking foam that was four inches thick anywhere around. So, we wrapped some towels, we were trying to, I was trying to just test it to see what would, if it would work, or if I had to, you know what I'm saying, if it would work in the meantime before I buy that foam. I'm gonna get some really thick foam and that should do it, but um, yeah, we make it work, you know, that's the point. We make it work regardless, that's how we do. So, actually I gotta disconnect, disconnect this. So yeah, the weight is very light because I'm still dealing with this, like the pressure of it, the more I put up the weight, the more it hurts. So what I'm doing is, I just do one leg at a time, 15 reps, and as long as you really feel it in the quads, like I feel it, I feel it really burning a lot, so I knew it was good. I knew it was hitting the quads sufficiently. It's really nice to see me working the legs right here, you feel me? Working on the fucking quads. Hey guys, how do you build muscle, right? How do you get better at anything in life? It's the motherfucking reps, baby. You gotta break it down. Break down the fucking quads so they can build back up into motherfucking tree trunks. You feel me? And everyone knows that the quads beat the fucking odds. You feel me? So we're getting the quads right so we can beat the odds, right? It's pretty much what we're doing right here. And this, this is a, uh, you know, a fractal image, a representation of the gains generally in life. Uh, am I gonna talk some shit? Oh no, I'm about to switch. I'm gonna have to switch over, put the pad in there. Let's get it, baby. Remember, remember the sink. Quads beat the odds, my friends. Quads beat the fucking odds. I'm showing the quads some love. Neglected them my whole life, so now it's time to spam them and get them right, baby. Because uh, I want to be able to wear the shorts to the beach and have the legs busting out. Or just anytime I'm wearing shorts, I want the legs to be busted. So you better go ahead and spam them. Let's do it. It's, it's really nice to see me working the quads here, man, because as the time went on, as you guys know, I'm in the future, and the gains of thon as it progresses, I definitely start doing this less and less, and now I'm going to get back on that shit as I'm watching this and editing this now, because you feel me, I'm going hard, I'm getting the gains, so this is just peak performance right here, and I'm loving it, we're showing some love to the quads, and that's showing love to ourselves, that's self-love, baby, you feel me, because... As you heard me say, we want to get the tree trunks going, the legs solid at the beach. Yeah, that shit was digging into my skin. I got to get some foam for this shit. That's why I stopped. This shit is not very padded, so pretty much end up feeling straight bone. But hey, we got to get those fucking quads right so we can beat the odds right. You know what I'm saying? Quad to beat the fucking odds, baby. Ah. Let's go. Ah. One more time. Yeah, we're gonna continue eating. I just finished the baked potatoes. Now it's time to make that fucking homemade chipotle bowl, baby. Ah. I'm not even gonna check. It should be on point. But we're gonna do another set of these pull downs. For the tries. So yeah, this first day, this first workout, the original home gym workout, before we knew that it was going to transform into something and, and 
rise from the ashes as a phoenix as the Gainsathon, as the last Gainsathon in the headquarters. Before we do that, man, this is just the first night, first little workout, and this is a nice little workout, man. I had to break this shit up into two separate parts. I mean, it's going to be many episodes of the Gainsathon, but um, yeah, I'll, I'm liking the length of under 15 minutes type vibe. So yeah, another great episode, more gains, putting that pain in, you feel me? Like, what else could you ask for? That's just how we're supposed to show up for ourselves, and it was a great testament. That was a little low, so we're gonna go ahead and point it a little higher, baby. Put in that motherfucking painting as we just talked about in the last clip, baby. And that's important in life because, as we said, that's showing true self respect to yourself. You know, life is gonna give you pain from many different ways you know what i'm saying emotional spiritual physical so we just want to harden our mind and our spirit and our body simultaneously and simultaneously build up the triceps because as you know we want the triceps to be busting baby so the triceps shall be busting let them bust god let the triceps be busting thank you god getting that blood pumping baby just woke up guys, finishing up my bowl from last night. The good old left out Chipotle bowl gains. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful fucking day. Beautiful fucking day. Like absolutely gorgeous day. Your boy just woke up. Got right to posting. Right to fucking getting the gains, finishing up the gains from last night. Right to uh, finishing up this video too because fucking, yeah, right back to these workouts too because we didn't uh, go too crazy yesterday. So we're going to continue this video t today. Plus this kind of shows you how I really move, you know. It's just a cohesive motherfucking environment of gains to say the least. We got our black coffee here. It's cooling down. It's piping hot right now. Yeah, baby, so gains on the schedule. And it's such a beautiful day. I'm gonna lay out actually, cause I, that's one part that I've been neglecting. I'm supposed to lay out for a half hour a day, but I've been slacking. I haven't laid out in probably a month. It's been a lot of shit going on, but that's a fucking excuse. So fuck excuses, that's some bitch ass shit. We just make it happen, baby. Moving forward, all we can do is make it happen going forward. So we're gonna lay out today, get some sun, that's gonna feel great. It always recharges me. I don't know why I fucking hesitate so much and be a bitch. But you know, we're continually getting better in life and that's all that matters. So yeah, baby, continuously posting, continuously tracking the macros, continuously getting the gains. Enjoying this beautiful weather, feeling very blessed, giving many thanks to God. Being so grateful. Thank you, God. We love you. Yeah, we're gonna continue the gains. So I'll see you in the next motherfucking set, baby. Urgh.